Now things get interesting. These last four seeds that will be regional hosts. Let's move on to number 13, Louisiana, with the Lafayette Regional at Yvette Girard Field. A 25th consecutive trip to the NCAA tournament out of the Sun Belt Conference, looking for a seventh trip to the Women's College World Series. For the first time since 2016, Lamson Park will host the NCAA Regional as the softball team was named the number 13 seed in the NCAA Tournament. The Cajuns are just one of six teams since 2000 to earn a berth to the NCAA Tournament, making their 25th consecutive appearance and 33rd overall. Seeing my kids have fun was one of the more, that was really what was special to me last night, just seeing the kids so happy. And you, I looked at team pictures this morning, and they were just, you could really see joy in their faces. Louisiana opens the NCAA Regional at 4.30 p.m. on Friday against Princeton as Ole Miss and Baylor square off at 7 p.m. For more information on the regional, including game times for the weekend and ticket information, visit RagingCajuns.com slash SB Regional. Bunt plays down, White tried to flip it home, it goes over White's head, and two runs are gonna score, and it's seven to one. Baseball went four and zero over the week after defeating Jackson State five nothing and sweeping Georgia Southern 19-3, 6-4, and 9-2. After the win on Sunday, the Cajuns clinched the number one seed in the Sunbelt Conference Tournament and a share of the Sunbelt Conference title. They can become the outright champions beginning Thursday with the win or a Southern Miss loss. In the first game of the series, the Cajuns' offense would not be denied as a home run crew broke out their bats as Kyle DeBarge, John Taylor, Ben Robichaux, Clay Wargo, and Brian Broussard Jr. all homered. LP Langevin did what he does best and struck out eight batters in relief. In game two, DeBarge belted his 19th home run of the season, tying the school record for most homers hit in a single season, joining David King and David Alves. JT Etheridge earned the win for Louisiana after pitching one and two-third innings of no-hit relief with three strikeouts. In the finale, Carson Fluno pitched six solid innings, striking out five batters and scattering three hits. Jose Torres' RBI double in the fifth inning snapped a 1-1 tie and the Cajuns kept rolling, scoring runs in five straight innings. I just went over there with clear heads and played fast, hard and loose and, you know, good things happened for us. It started with uh, really good pitching. The hitters kind of did the rest. Uh, we got after it offensively pretty much all weekend. Louisiana wraps up the regular season against South Alabama at the tee at 6 p.m. for Thirsty Thursday. $4 beers will be available for the first thousand sold or through the end of the first inning courtesy of the RCAF. Now just the finish line for Bridgen and she will get to it. Just over 58 seconds. Wow, impressive. Track and field continues to put on a show as they had a historic performance at the Sunbelt Conference Outdoor Championships. The Cajuns scored their most combined points since 2002. The women finished the meet second with 115.7 points, their most points and highest finish since 1997. The 115.7 points was the fifth most at the conference championships in program history. The men took third for the second straight season with 99 points. It marked back-to-back -to -back top three finishes for the Raging Cajuns since the 2001-2002 season. The men's 4x1 relay squad of Trajan Jones, Zachy Monroe, Floyd Pond, and Jamad Booth set a new Sunbelt Conference Outdoor Championship meet and facility record with a time of 39.45. Other Louisiana Sunbelt champions include Mo Bridgen in the 400 hurdles, Javed Jones in the 400 hurdles, and Blair LaFleur in javelin.